Hello there and welcome back to Cory Loses, where today we are once again continuing our Thrawn's Revenge 3.2 preview playthrough as the Greater Maldrude. In the last episode, we took a few more of these Northern Imperial planets, especially Telos and Axilla, and we are setting ourselves up for the final push into the Imperial territory. We still need to take Qtrick on the ground, as well as all of Cernpidal and Dubrillion. Uh, they should be relatively simple to take. Cernpidal has a bit more in terms of ground slots, but we'll see what they actually have there. And so I think we are going to send Tosh's fleet out to do the, uh, the Cernpidal dirty work here. And we... Ooh, we have lost. That's not great. That's not great. That's not great. Starting my run. Well, we are gonna need to get some defenses in position. Uh, can we send Rayton over? No. Can't send you because you're defending against the New Republic. You're defending against the New Republic down there. Well, I think we might need to reinvade what appears to be a Penistar alignment assault on Tangren. Uh, yeah. Well, may as well just keep going. Let's let's send Teradoc or Trayton over here, anyways. That's gonna be a long trip for them, actually. So, maybe, maybe we can get through. Setting up my run, sir. Well, we'll see if we can get anything else in. Uh, it's gonna get over there. This is, we want to get the actual agent there. Ooh, that's a secular. And Besk. IPVs, Arcatens. Cool and one. I, you know what? I'll, I'll give it a shot. I don't think we can beat this. But this is our first fight with the PA, who have been able to kind of hold off against the Empire the entire time. So they've, they must have built up quite a bit. There's probably going to be some pretty big fleets on each of their planets. Besk has one of the new Buccaneers, I think. Yeah. This is one of the PA units that we didn't get to see in the PA playthrough. The uh, the Buccaneer. So she's been moved. Reinforcements on route. What are your orders? Understood. Garrett Commander here. Reinforcements on route. What else? Reporting. So she used to be in a munificent. I don't think we'll be able to win this, but you know, we'll give it a shot. Reporting. reporting. We have some of our own fighters. We have a little bit of anti-fighter. The garrisons. We have the bombers. There'll be some significant damage. What is Belta? Belta's. It's just administrator. Three bomber squadrons. Like, the active loadout isn't ready. Ready for bigger game. than our shipyard loadout, really. The one extra bomber, but... Cannons armed. Die squadron standing by. And maybe kill Besk and get a start on this. Bomber. Executor. I don't know. We'll have to. What are your orders? I have to try to protect the the Golan for a little bit at least. Space station damaged. Attacking. Okay. Go for it. I'm not gonna send the fighters and bombers in on that yet, but. Come about. Charge laser cannons. We do need to get the bombers into the secular sooner than later. Let's 
get in on those. In on that. And Arquitens. There as well. See, we can distract them from any of this. Look, the Architons are no slouches with the damage. The Bombers are going to be helping as well. But they do also have their own trenchant here. Down to half of the health on it. So they are starting to hit the Arcatens. These are mostly medium or light, I think, on the secular. No, they have a heavy there. There's some light lasers. Not like turbo lasers, though. So. It's actually not terrible to have them... Have the Architens die. Because we'll get at least some of them back. And let's try to kill... The hangers. I mean, considering what we have here, this is... Could have been worse. Limit testing. Any additional defense support, and we could have possibly done some damage. Oh well, we tried. How many bombers are in there? Just one left. Yeah, it's just this dude. Okay, you, you may as well just go die. Not to be rude, but just just die. Nope. I shouldn't have sent you in there. It's my bad. Yes, Commander. Current Commander here. Ready. Receiving orders. Okay, let's try to keep. Reporting. Uh, no, there, there's nothing. We're going to be able to do on that. Still too many of them. Too many fighters and bombers, plus the trench and stopping us from getting in there. Shockingly, the 2v1 goes the, the way of the secular against the, the Arquitens. Oops. It was like right as they got the new one. God, if we'd even had those Imperial 2s in here, we would have won that, I think. Very sad. That's not ideal. Is it just the one? No, that's actually, that's a decent, decent fleet there. Title is nearly empty. All right, we may as well just ignore that center part with Kosh. You may notice a little bit more lag than usual. I'm actually recording this while, uh, while rendering a video. I kind of just wanted to see how that would go. And I have noticed a little bit more, but not, not a ton. A few more frames where it's a bit jumpy. Maybe I shouldn't do that anymore. Right. Some guardians in, you have turbos and lasers. Ready for battle. Why well, did that? I copy. Gladiator at your command. Destroyer here. Station on stand. Gun crew, make ready. Awaiting command. 
I mean, if we'd ended up with the, with the raid fleet on that last battle, that would have been really helpful, too. But we got, like, three of them last episode, so we'll probably be a while before we see another one. That's how stats works, right? Definitely not. Star Destroyer standing by. Form up. Advancing on target. Come on. Lock weapons and target at maximum firepower. Reporting. Closing on target. Be a nice regression to the mean, maybe. All fighters attack. Star destroyer reporting in. So Cernpidal down. We'll see what they have on the ground, because they have a fair number of slots here. I want to say that Cernpidal is a mining planet, so one of those is probably a mine. Just guessing. And... May as well just send these all the way over. Uh, I've never done this with ships before. I've done it with buildings. You never want to press the auto resolve button when you do a, a cheeky cell like that, because it will uh, it'll result in the next battle being auto resolved, and then people complain that the game is broken. Wait, are we low on influence? We're only level three influence. Building started. I need to sell... Yeah, I think I need to sell one of the tax agencies right now. Before we actually start using some influence on that. Or start getting some unrest on that. And we want to check what Q-Trick has. Okay, can we hold off this? We have a lot of ship-to-ship -ship damage. We don't have as much... Fighter wise anymore. I don't think we have any bombers. Enemy forces ahead. If only we had that Imperial too, then I'd be very confident in our ability to win this. Your orders. We're on the move. Choose your reinforcements. Flank speed. Okay, let's try to take out their fighter defenses. We can maybe kill the trenchant. Your command, sir. Maneuvering. It's gonna go and hide though. Oh, we don't have bombers, nice. Yes, Commander. Ready for command, sir. Copy. Weapons ready. Take it. Weapons ready, sir. Yes, sir. Attack position. Roger that. Closing on enemy. Go ahead, sir. Starting the Act my twos. I have the target in sight. Form up. Direct fire. At your command. Target at maximum fire. All right. You know what? Do it. Just leave. I think you should leave. We're in attack position. Target this could go... This battle could have gone either way, and... They won't know what hit them. We'll make sure well, I do them. think we would have won, ultimately. I don't want to give up this fleet. So, I'll take the bluff on that one. I was bluffing. You got me. They're going to send in a ground force, though. I think we are going to get another fleet going. Two more of you. Some strikes. Unit in production. Those Vehicle carriers. Alright, good enough. We'll see what uh what Q trick has. Comes the ground force. They got some Jedi. They were really looking to invade. Nice, easy, easy win for them, they thought, but no. This is the real victory from that last battle. Not them retreating, but them still having the ground forces coming in. 
awaiting orders. I mean, they could technically still retreat from this. Die squadron standing by. I copy. I doubt it. set. Bombers at the ready. You might Deploy. be able to get there first. Instructions received. Ready to receive orders. Bomber active. We can kill the Ready siege battle. tower, especially maybe. Yes, sir. Engines. Oh, activated. they're getting out. They're getting out. Very sad. I don't have an interdictor in this fleet. I have an interdictor in any fleet, really. But we're probably okay with that. Well, actually, no. We have we have at least one in Teradoc in Triton's Street fleet. I'll probably start wanting to add them into into fleet soon, but let's get all of you over there. Right away. Since it is just the ground of space, we want. I think we want you and. Maybe just you. Yeah, that's fine. We wanna we wanna make sure we're defending. They're not gonna attack in space, obviously. But what do we have on the ground here? So not much in the way of combat garrisons. They'll have the Moff Palace, they'll have the barracks. A lot of infantry though. I think we can we can handle that. Have we unlocked anyone? We have not. Been some time. The Battle of Endor. It's also been some time since the Battle of Saving. So let's do that. We'll want to save, and then once we take Qtrick, we should be good to go into Cernpida. Lumaya should be in there. And then we'll go in for the other planet, who I keep forgetting what you are. Is it Dubrillion? I think it's Dubrillion, but I'm not 100% sure on that. And if it's not Dubrillion, I'm just going to keep calling it Dubrillion. Then once we have those, we should integrate the Empire. After which, it'll be PA time. Which again, the PA will be pretty built up to. Uh, how many New Republic plants are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So those will we'll probably want to get down to just the New Republic for the for the Friday finale stream, because uh, we will be doing the last parts of this campaign at 2 p.m. Eastern on Friday, live here on YouTube, uh, playing through till the finish. Then next week, that should mean we have a single stream left to conquest as the New Republic. So how fitting. Very fitting. Let's go the answer it is debrillion okay i wasn't making it up well we could just go into debrillion now Brigade standing by. Invasion commencing. start with debrillion or start with uh cern pedal then go to debrillion and our unit should be into uh Q-trick by that point and that's the main base here. We might want to send someone off to the left to get over the bridge. Yeah. Lumai and that first group are going to go over the bridge. We're going to get the mats in because that's probably the uh, planetary shield. We will build that. Why not? Artillery reporting. Over there. Starting to send out a few versions of the Fall of the Republic beta to some other YouTubers, so you might see that show up a little bit. We don't usually go like super hard on that, but uh, I think like last few releases we haven't really done anything with that. But this time, sending it to Shaq X2, Templin has a uh, slightly older build of. All the Republic from like before the actual beta, but or before the open beta, I think. Still during the beta, but not quite the same beta that everyone else got later. At the ready. Roger. 
Which ultimately, like, it would have been better if I waited to set the manure one, but he was looking to play it. Like, he doesn't normally play Empire at War, Templin Institute, Mark. Uh, Open fire. And he was going to be playing Empire at War anyways, so I figured I may as well just do that rather than have him play an old version. But the main thing with modding is that at a certain point you just decide everything else you've done before will shift, and the new stuff is all that matters. And it, it does get to a point where, like, the improvements alone are worth it, but... I think I am going to pause this. Because it is getting noticeably laggy in some parts. So no no more rendering while, while playing. It was an experiment. It didn't go well. Command received. Roger that. Are they going to be able to actually make it over here? Possibly. Cut through them. We might need to defend them, though. And we definitely need some anti-infantry up on the bridge. But we try to get up here. Come on. There you go. Them out. Out. Yeah, the MAATs can go over to this side now. Ready. Move into position. We're going to be trying to come on there. We've got a lot of anti-infantry on this side of the bridge, which seems to be all they're sending up. get over we want to have the the fresh ones in front for this now they'll still be able to defend got a kill zone set up and now we've got the bridge destination set so we're gonna hit past it and now Eric's uh, once. How's that? That's that's fine. Never mind. Sorry, I had to check a setting. What are your orders? Ready for orders. At the ready. The target in sight. Is that just uh, the mining and tax agencies back there? Maya, you wanna get in there? Actually, no, Maya, you should stay. Where do they have their... There. They're there. Where do they have their government? Now we can go kill the mining facility and tax agency. You can... you can go. Holding off that... Got even more coming up this way. Did that bombing ring actually get stopped? It did. Okay, we can't just keep losing like this. Got too cocky. Thought it was all going to be over. We need you in here. And I think we want to drop an HRV. From here, we do potentially want the... AA vehicles. I actually really like this map, but this path ends up not being used very much. Because ultimately you need to secure the bridge entry to get through here anyways. And if you have that, you may as well just kind of go up the other way. Get up there. We should be able to, to take the, the victory point in a second. Like, maybe if the victory point was down here, that could be another option. 
That might actually, that alone might be a pretty decent improvement. To use, to get more of the, more of the area used for that. An area that's currently kind of overlooked. At least in my experience. Maybe other people use that area more. But the only experience that uh, that I have to base anything off of is mine or what I'm told. So... There we go. Shadow landing. Planetary control achieved. And we're still moving in with those. Osh. And just we jump over there now. Construction complete. Beginning Tactical construction. Okay. This is where they have at least some of their units left. We don't want to kill everything because we want them to, to have something to send to us when they're done. But... We'll probably have to kill everything here. And hopefully, like, Cantrell and Orinda have, uh, have some other, other stuff. Right okay, Kosh, Altor. We don't actually have as much damage in this fleet as I'd like. To be honest. Yeah, this is... Okay, this is rough. Try to heal up Osh. Healing hardpointed stuff has been kind of weird, especially since the last Petro patch. So there have been a there's always a few things that get broken with the with the official patches. So far it's all been a massive net improvement, but someday it's not impossible that uh that won't be the case. Engaging the enemy. It looks like we're we're functional here, so won't complain. Though I, I kind of just did. Engaging. Really. It's mostly supportive stuff. Strike. Don't go out too far. There are only four more Lancers there. Uh, no, especially with the HV gun, this could be risky. Well, hold on. Once we've killed this VSD... Or do they really have? Like the VSD and the ISD, that's a lot of the damage. So uh, maybe I shouldn't overreact here. Well, I definitely shouldn't overreact, but I guess we just gotta find out the definition of overreacting. Then broadsides, can you hit the ISD? Well, Kosh, can you hit the ISD as well? And we'll keep these strikes on the VSD, keep the pursuit on the VSD as well. They have an interdictor anyway, so we can't exactly leave. Yeah, like we could focus it down. Okay, you don't want to go too far up. And you guys need to get up more so you can defend. And the strikes. Which I am now going to put on the ISD. I'm going to put each of them on one hard point. And you, same. Well, actually, no. We can put the, the pursuit onto a dreadnought. Bombers. Again, this is Maldrude bombing. Not going to be a big focus for them. Go for the meeting on couples. Osh is still okay. But I think he got hit by another hypervelocity gun. All right, we're starting to to tear apart that ISD. So let's get Kosh onto a Vindicator. The strikes and the broadsides are going to continue on them. I think it might actually be good to hit the dreadnoughts on this. 
We're damaged on the altar. Strikes. Okay, the strikes have that taken care of now. Well, I'll keep the I'll keep the strikes on the on the ISD. It, I was very worried about this, but we pulled through all right so far. We had a lot more damage focus ships than they did, plus the the extra support elements. So with the OPness of the Alpha right now. <laughs> Who are you going to go for? Are you going to go for Kosh or the Altor? But this will be the last battle against the Empire in space, I think. Because uh, we should be able to integrate after we take uh, this in Q-Trick. Okay, uh, take, the, take the wheel. And let's start moving up a little bit. We should be able to kill a lot of these as we come through. It's mostly just some heavily damaged corvettes and frigates. Broadsides. Broadsides can focus down the lancers because they're in front. We go for this one. And strike cruisers, give them some help on that. Because there are. They do have a few in a row. Four. Now that Ton Falk needs to go. Uh, we'll we'll leave the Tonfa if it's if it's jumping out. Because as long as it doesn't end up on Q-Trick, then which it can because we have stuff there, then it might become ours in a minute. Getting a lock. Excellent shot. All right. Intercepting. It's only three ground slots. We'll see how much they have on the ground here. It might be substantial. At least they're not able to invade through here anymore. We do want to build up those defenses. We'll get a hyper velocity gun. And let's get that. We we'll want to spy. We don't want to just jump in blindly. But uh, let, let's take a look here. What does the PA have? They have 38% of the galactic strength. So they are stronger than us. They have almost half the galactic military. Uh, what does the save have, though? Yeah, that was about 16 minutes. I should I should definitely save before we go in for these last two Imperial battles. Maybe we'll get another uh, another legitimacy group in one of these battles as well. Q-Trick is going to be a bit tough on the infantry side, but we have a lot of... We have a lot of anti-infantry in these forces, I think. In both forces. Yeah, we have four of those. Plus we can support them. Yeah, we're I think we're good. We don't have Lumaya, but we do have a lot of infantry, a lot of ISPs. My ISP is really unreliable. My connection likes to drop a fair bit, but... Let's see if we can get over to there. Want you and you and you and you. And I guess we'll get more jump troopers. 
construction. Roger. Reporting in. Ready. On and ready. We want to run straight over there. I might actually take two of you onto this side. Yeah, there's definitely stuff over, over here, there. so yes, Commander. The that's the right choice. Form up. Okay, we we got it back in. So much for that. Awaiting orders. We'll have to pick just one then. Okay. Um. We just kill a hero with that. I think that was one of the heroes. Move back, move back, kill them. Infantry on here. Which actually I think means that they've left. Yeah, the Juggernaut, Juggernaut was from there. We'll pull out and you guys can come up behind these infantry at least. Now get all this infantry up here. Uncover. There we go. Finally having a couple wins on the field. And I think we'll want the mats. So most of you go for that. Okay, all of you can actually go for that because this is here. Chase out the... Chase out the IDT. We really need to take this landing zone. Or else we're in big trouble. Come on. Uh, okay, there we go. Drop you in there. Drop more tanks. Even more healing, I think. That's another hero. Yeah, that's Imodet. Come on, that's their command bonus. There we go. Yeah, and I'm gonna bring in some of the airspeeders on this side. We'll send some, uh, some of the jump troopers to see what we can they actually have over there. No, you can you can come around because we don't want you to just die. That is down. What is this? Abandoned fuel pump. Why is movement speed bonus to your vehicles? Yeah, you need to heal up. Standing by. Right away. Let's see what they have. Oh, they have... They have a planetary shield over there. Right on this side. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Go heal. Let's go. Aerial artillery reporting. Transport here. Fire at 
Go destroy that. And you go up with them. You as well. I think we want more jump troopers. There will be probably a revisiting of a lot of the field base contents for uh, for point three, but there are a few new things in them already for for this for point two. Oh shit! Get out of there! Shit! 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 Well, at least we can destroy most of their base from here. Ready to receive orders. Commander. Uh, INTs... They have an AA turret in there, so we actually don't want to go in to that. But we definitely want to send two of you over here. The artillery is a problem. Uh, let's try to stay near those. Got that. Got that. Uh, the planetary shield might be a better target for us rather than trying to, to crack through this all at once. So let's go get that next. I guess if if you're already over here, keep you over here. I don't know if they made it. Yeah, they made it past the AA turrets. Don't worry, they'll, they'll be back. You haven't been abandoned. Okay, that should be a quick kill. Bombard you, and then we can actually just go down the hill. That's gonna, that's all just gonna be dead. Good stuff. Then we need to. Okay, that needs to die. Stop ferrying troops! They don't have an AA turret here. Mm, yeah, that, that's dead. Uh, move out. I'm just gonna bomb in this area, because why not? Can you get in? Move out. Move out of there. I don't think you can actually hit that. Oh, you can. Sweet. Okay, that was a bit frenetic. A bit frantic. We made it through all right. So sweet. We got Q-Trick. Very messy towards the end, but it is it is what it is. Planetary control achieved. Constructing. Constructing. All right. I don't even think we want to put Kosh on that side. We want him to defend here. We got what we need, and we are going to take Dubrillion. How are we looking for legitimacy? Hinge, 25. Can't change. Empire's at minus 15. Need to put a floor on that. Oh, we lost one of our mats to... ...out of space. So that even, that's going to make it even easier once we actually invade, though. They don't have any production. It's just a Moth Palace garrison and uh, five companies of units. Reporting. Awaiting orders. Choose your reinforcements. Okay. Heading out. That's Heading out. That's this. And this should actually be a pretty decent map for artillery as well. I mean, most maps are pretty decent for artillery, at least, but... Moving to that area, sir. Getting up to, to this landing zone. Yes, sir. Enemy unit sighted. 
Lancet standing by. Attack! Aerial artillery reporting. Don't know what those are. Capture them anyways. Copy. Copy. Heading out. I don't know if we're going to be able to kill that on here. Take cover. Okay, we need to get in there. ATs on the opposite side. Where's the nearest place to get up? Is it on this side here? What's that one? Get the the infantry in, or the ISPs in, so we can kill some of these infantry a bit more efficiently. And from there, let's try to get over to the opposite side. Okay, AATs need some help. Now we'll want to move the artillery up to this side, and we have a good chunk of money. So we could build. We could build a field base if we wanted to. But I don't think there's anything we really need at the moment. What is this? Another fact. Should be able to get up to both of the landing zones at once. There is some unfortunate terrain that blocks lines of firing on this in a very tight area, so that can get a little bit messy. Are we actually getting in here? We should be able to kill these turrets. That one is just shooting the wall. That should all hopefully be adjusted though. I think it might already have been. Nothing. Okay, we need to make sure we go on the opposite side for this, because otherwise we'd be just shooting down into that. Okay, uh... Then we should be able to go up into... ...into the base. There's only the what? One or two structures up there? Alright. Let's see if that kills both of them. Should get close. Lost one of the bombers. Crap. Just short. Oh well, it shouldn't be too hard to finish off now. Oh, it really shouldn't be too hard to finish off now. Oh, 
Yes. Our resources have been squandered, and we've been left with no clear leadership. The core empire forces will join the highest legitimacy imperial faction at the end of the week, and by end of the week, we mean right now. Uh, but we did actually get a hero off of that. So, unfortunately, the Ariadu playthrough, we didn't get what we were supposed to off of the integrations, but here we are getting Lon Bangier. So, yay, I guess, Lon Bangier. Who likes Lon? Uh, we got all these forces out of Rinda. We got some, we got a, a lot of stuff off of that. Oh, there was some, some movement Enemy going on. That's why they were supposed to be at the end of the week, because anything that's still happening. We basically need to have a way in the script to get any remaining units after the flip has happened and spawn them on the appropriate planet, rather than only doing stuff that are on the planets. But it is... Uh, we had it, something in for it, but then it just kind of messy. So it, it didn't work out as well as we'd hoped. Or as I'd hoped. But that means we got ourselves a nice turbo laser ATAT. We got a lot of stuff out of that. Which we'll be able to use against the PA. But that is going to do it for today. Uh, we are probably again going to have one more episode going through the PA this week. And then on Friday we will have the finale of the Greater Maldrude. Uh, so hope you have enjoyed the playthrough so far. Hope you're looking forward to the conclusion and hope to see you next time. Bye, everyone.